So we're back and we're drawing something new today. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back once again. Um, I'm going to be drawing Valkyrie from Apex Legends Season 9, the season that just came out, uh, from the very epic video game that I enjoy quite a bit. Um, but I want to talk today about um, a couple of things. So this was a... I haven't drawn something in a little bit of time. It's been a good minute so i figured we'd get in and do some uh some some heavy some heavy drawing today um but yeah so i want to talk about a couple of things mainly i want to talk about um kind of just the direction of a piece in general um i've said this before in the past but for the most part i usually don't have an idea of what i'm gonna I have i just know what i'm drawing so i know that i'm drawing valkyrie from apex legends and that's all that i know i don't know what I want to do I don't know what really position I'm gonna try and go for what pose I'm gonna go for I don't really know uh, much of anything other than of course I'm drawing Valkyrie so the biggest thing that I can say when I'm drawing is I just kind of go with the flow and I know this is like newer artists or, or people that are just getting into digital art can't exactly do this um, because I just been doing it for a little bit of time so it just comes easier but something that I can tell you is that every single time I start a new piece I'm always looking for what I can do differently and what I can do the same so basically I'm trying to maintain my style but I'm trying to do something that I haven't exactly done before so for this, I knew the biggest thing that I was going to have to focus on was her hair because her hair is very specific and that's going to be a big deal for me. That's something that I was not looking forward to drawing, to be honest with you. Um, so I knew I had to get that and I really wanted to get, I wanted this one to be about, I wanted to have more depth than just a regular cell shaded uh, piece, which is what I usually do because I, I enjoy cell shading and I don't like shading things. So I wanted to have depth and I wanted to focus on her hair as well. So those were the two things that I had in mind once I started. Um, but once I started getting the sketch down to a level that I really wanted it at, which was about right here, um, I could really tell that I was trying to, I, w I, w I was going in the direction that I really wanted to. And I was trying to get this down and it was actually going the way that I wanted to, which was nice. So in the beginning, I was struggling with the mouth. I was struggling with a, f a couple of things. But like I said in the past, if you just keep on trying to work on it piece by piece, then it will definitely get to where you want it to be. Um, because I was not liking it at all in the beginning, <laughs> just like most of the time. Um, but it, it got to a point where I really started enjoying it, which is about right here, like I said. Um, so you can see me just moving around pieces of pieces of her face and moving around this and that just to get the proportions the way that I want them to. I'm actually uh, scaling the scaling pieces and moving them around and just doing a lot of things to uh, her face just to get it to sit the way that I really wanted it to. Um, I'm also changing. I, I had those little pieces on the side of her face on her jaw, those little metal pieces or whatever they are. I had those kind of rounder, um, but I, I changed them and made them harder edged, which I really enjoy. Like I said, just look at it, and and whatever feels wrong to you, it, it just change it. Like I said, I mean, art is art. It, of course, there's there's no rights and wrongs, but the biggest thing is that you just want to be happy with your own art. Now, of course, if you're trying to do a hyper-realistic thing, I've said this before in the past, if you're trying to do something hyper-realistic, there is, of course, a wrong and a right. But for the most part, if you're just drawing just to uh, have fun, just do your style, uh, and just get down something that you really enjoy, then uh, there's no wrongs and no rights. So don't worry about that. The biggest thing that I love is I love the imperfections in the lines. So you saw me a little bit ago try and use the line tool, which I did not enjoy because I like the imperfections in lines. I like the thicker pieces, the thinner pieces. I like the um, the wavering of the lines. I enjoy that they're not completely 100% straight. I like that. So um, don't be don't be crazy worried about your imperfections in lines or line art or sketches or whatever else um because it, it definitely adds character just go with it if if there's something that you're struggling with go with it and push it into that direction because maybe that's part of your style and you just don't realize it you know what i mean so right now i'm i always have issues with i i, I believe eyes i always have issues with this like the circle part of the eyes on the inside there um 
So, I'm really, really trying to come up with a way to um, to make the eyes not look weird. And I think I did a pretty good job with this one as well. Uh, I love doing eyebrows. They're so simple to do. And these little lines on the edges, on the ends, and the outside of the, eye, of the eyebrows really, really help sell that it is actual hair instead of just like, you know, some weird blocks on her face. Um, the lips are super simple here. I like going with bigger mouths. I, I always do big mouths, um, in my pieces and I, and her mouth is actually quite a bit lower than I normally put it as well, but I really liked the way that it looked for some reason. So that was also something that was just a piece of my style that kind of bled over into, uh, into this design. Now the hair, as you can see, I'm being very sloppy with my line art because I can get away with that because it is hair. So it's supposed to look fuzzy. Now, if I was drawing her chin or something and it was this fuzzy, it would look weird. You know, if it was this sketchy of line art, it would look strange because a chin is not fuzzy. You know what I mean? Your nose isn't fuzzy. I mean, unless you're really hairy. But listen, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, but the hair, the hair is it's hair so it can be fuzzy so the good thing is is that i was able to take these liberties here and have this really 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 sketchy line art for the hair and it works out very very well so we move on to color here and i'm just trying to get down some base colors of the hair and the skin i've said this before but don't try and get bogged down with being like oh i have to do the line art for this entire piece i have to do the color for all of this break it down into sections if you're if you're if you're doing the line art for her ear only worry about her ear don't worry about the whole face only worry about the ear same thing with color don't be like oh, i gotta color this whole thing in you're gonna get bogged down you're gonna think you're crazy going through all of this these high level steps and all of these uh, all these pieces you have to complete only worry about one piece at a time So if you're coloring her eyes only go I, ha I have to finish coloring her eye and then move on to something else I have to finish coloring in her hair. I have to do her eyebrows I have to do her lips only worry about one thing at a time or else you will get definitely bogged down trying to do all of the different pieces together um, Here I am going ahead and like I said just getting the base colors down I actually did change the color of the line art so I went up to filters and color colorize or whatever it is and I, I made the line art quite a bit red. And here I'm overlaying a black color uh, on top of all of that color there. And I'm just erasing some of the pieces over top of her hair to make it look like there's a little bit of light coming from the right hand side. Now, this is a little bit more than I typically do because I, I usually only like, like I said, um, uh, cell shaded art, which is pretty much just flat colors. I don't like doing a lot of shading. Um, but you guys always ask me for shading, so here's a little bit of shading. Um, but I do think it looked really good for this, so that's why I decided to do it. Um, because I really wanted a little bit more depth of light here. Um, just because I really enjoyed this piece, and Apex is quite an epic game, so I felt it needed a little bit more than just some cell shading. Um, but, um, but yeah, so it's just small things. So like, I added a little bit of color to the black overlays that I had, because I thought it was looking a little dull and drab. So I added a little bit of color to that. A little bit of, um fuzzy what is it called airbrush i used the airbrush a little bit today which is also something i've been doing a lot more recently added a little bit of pink to around her nose and her cheeks and on her ears um added a little bit of blue in her hair and a little bit of purple and green on the left and right hand sides um so uh so yeah that was just something that i thought was really cool and for the eyes i actually used some orange and uh put it on uh color dodge to make her eyes pop out a little bit more just more overlays with color dodge and overlay screen um just on on her face and her chin and i actually used the lasso tool there to uh, highlight just her chin so it wouldn't spill over onto her neck and then i overlaid on her chin so that it would look like her chin was separate from her neck if you understand what i mean there try to do a little bit of a hair overlay but it was just clashing with the overlays we already had so i decided to get rid of it and this is basically the finished piece. The main thing I can tell you is just have fun with it and just get get in there and just make some make some art and just go with it and just stay with it. This is an hour and 40 minutes I took to draw this and I had a bit of fun. So if you enjoyed it, let me know down below. I'll see you guys next time. But until then, bye-bye.